the Brothers of Liberty, here to remind you what true freedom is. Hello and welcome to the Brothers of Liberty. We're here to remind you what true freedom is. Now, as um, my younger brother has did a video already, I'm also doing a video on Afghanistan from a little bit of a different perspective. Um, definitely been in the headlines and this is probably a subject we'll probably touch upon in a few videos and on our blog site as well once that's up and running. Um, but I just want to review what happened in recent months, what led up to this, and the future implications it will have on us. Um, right now, as everybody knows through the headlines of watching the news, back in April, President Biden announced that he was withdrawing troops and wanted a September 11th deadline to have all troops out of Afghanistan. Now, why this is, he, you know, he was right that we shouldn't be fighting somebody else's war. Um, but that could have been done a different way. Um, this has been a goal of a couple administrations before Biden. Um, but he started pulling out troops, I think, a little bit prematurely. Um, now one thing after they pull, started pulling out troops, uh, fighting, heavy fighting itself didn't start till probably about two to three weeks ago. Um, from the Taliban's capture of its first capital, Providence to the fall of Cabal was only within literally less than two weeks. Um, most of the people fighting them just left the line, surrendered, walked away, not really much resistance. Uh, with that happening, they also left equipment that was brought there by the United States military for the Afghan military. So now the Taliban has a hold of guns and equipment from the United States of America. Um, as they proceeded on to Cabal, President Biden asked the Taliban not to attack the U.S. Embassy, but as a precaution, started evacuating people to the airport. In fact, he had to send in, after pulling out troops, he had to send in an additional 3,000 to 5,000 troops to protect the airfield for us and our allies from other countries to evacuate. Um, What's really sad is the fact that as evacuations were proceeding, there was civilians, Afghan civilians and citizens who were literally trying to hang on planes and falling to their deaths, which we will not show here. Um, that's just something not going to show in case any kids come across it. Um, they're trying to at least be family friendly as well to keep people informed. Um, one thing that... Um, also is the Afghan president over the weekend before the fall of Cabal left the country. Um, that's no surprise there. He wanted to protect his own hide. And I'm pretty sure a lot of li local leaders did the same thing. Um, one thing that does appall me is the fact a CNN reporter was reporting on the situation where Taliban members in the street was chanting death to America. But she said they seemed friendly. Um, a polite bad guy? A polite uh, terrorist maybe? I don't know. Um, hey look, I'm sorry I gotta kill you but it's just business. Boom. No hard feelings. Yeah, that's, don't see why that, how that would be friendly. Um, this is our generation Vietnam. Um, our parents saw the fall in 1975 of Saigon we're watching the fall of Cabal in 2021 and so our parents actually went through this twice um, and unfortunately no one learned from their mistakes Afghanistan is called a graveyard of empires for a reason um, their terrain is unique to the situation they're hostile to outsiders and there's tribal conflicts where they can't be unified um, we they say, you know, always try to unify them, try to support a government that no one likes, and there's always infighting. The only positive thing I could say about the Taliban is they're more organized than a lot of the other tribes, and they take advantage of that, and they've managed to hold on to power until it was eliminated when the United States went in there with, in their part of the September 11th attacks. 
uh, but they took over the country in 94 and held on to it until then and now they've reclaimed it um, one also thing I do have to admit as much as I'm not a Biden supporter President Biden did admit responsibility for it he owned up to it um, and pretty much said it was his decision his responsibility so as much as people can't stand him and I'm one of them um, I have to give him props for that um, doesn't mean I'm you know, going to vote for him or whatever. Doesn't mean I'm in his corner. But like I said, I'll point out things that Democrats do good. I'll point out things Republicans do bad. And I'm more of an independent than anything else. If you've done something bad or good, you'll get recognized for it one way or the other. Um, now, the future of Afghanistan is what I want to talk about and the future implications. Now, four of these things I've taken from the... NPR news article and the fifth thing is something a lot of people are talking about as well uh, the first thing is um, Afghanistan is going to become a human rights problem again um, there's already rumors that they're taking women and girls away um, we already know that they told one CNN reporter to step aside because she's a woman they didn't do nothing to her um, right now, they're trying to put on a happy face in the whole thing while everybody's watching. Um, another thing is um, they could be, the, the Taliban government could become a safe haven for extremists again. This is why we went into there in the first place. Um, so, it's a possibility we may be revisiting in years to come. Or other countries may be revisiting years to come. Um, and that's definitely something that is a big huge concern for everybody involved and people not involved um another thing that the article said it could destabilize pakistan a lot of people don't realize that they have a tariki taliban pakistan or what we call a pakistani taliban now a lot of times the pakistani taliban and afghanistan taliban does a lot of infighting but they may unify to try to at least bring the whole region down and as much as Pakistan been trying to play favorites with Afga Afghanistan, Taliban, and the United States, they're going to have to take a stand one way or the other. And that could be their downfall. Um, the last thing, which is something that the Taliban has done differently than from 1994, is that they're actually trying to gain support from the international community. Their leaders have visited China and Russia and Iran, where before they tried to close everything off and didn't want any help. Now they're actively looking for recognition. Um, in fact, uh, China could gain a foothold in the region because now China is promising big investments in infrastructure and energy there. So follow the money. And last but not least is possible extremists coming to America. We all know there's going to be a lot of refugees trying to get to America, being brought to America. And um, here, and how many of those do we know that are part Taliban who want to see another 9-11 happen? Also, they could go through Central America through our southern border as well. And we all know the mess there, but that's for a different video. So once again, um, that's my view on it, of the future implication that's going to happen, that may happen, it's probably going to happen. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and follow. And remember, we're the Brothers of Liberty, and we're here to remind you what true freedom is.